Oh. Okay, everyone. How We're all smokes. done reading each other's poems, right? I've got some something extra planned today. So if everyone could come take a seat in the front of the room. Is this about the festival? Well, sort of. Ah, uh, do we really have to go so long for the festival? Not like we could put together anything good in just a few days. We just end up embarrassing ourselves and say getting any new members. That's a concern of mine as well. I don't really do well with last minute preparations. Oh shit, you're, you're, still, you're still there, okay. Yeah, <laughs> She's sitting in the corner with her book. Clearly. Don't worry so much. Uh, we're gonna keep it simple, okay? Uh, we don't need any more than a few decorations. Siri's been working on posters and I've designed some pamphlets that we can give out during the event. Okay, that's great and all, but that doesn't tell us what we're actually going to be doing for the event. Ah, uh, sorry. I thought you heard about it already. We're gonna be performing. You were over my head? <laughs> <laughs> performing? P p p hey, Monica. Yeah, we're gonna have a poetry performance. Each of us are gonna choose a poem to recite during the event. But the cool part is, we're also gonna let everyone else come up and recite their own poems. Siri's putting up one of the posters, putting it on all the posters in case anyone wants a bear ahead of time. <laughs> Siri, who's been coloring a poster, holds it up for you to see. I need crayon! <laughs> That's the look on her face, like, I did crayon! Ah, <laughs> uh, Siri. Are you kidding me, Monica? You didn't, you didn't actually start putting those posters up, did you? Uh, well, I did. Do you really think it's that bad of an idea? Well, no, it's not a bad idea, but I didn't sign up for this, you know. There's no way I'm going to be performing in front of a group of people like that. <laughs> Next scene, I can't believe I'm performing in front of a bunch of people like this. <laughs> For those, like, cartoons. Yeah. It's like, I'm, it's like, there's no way. <laughs> and then the very next scene, I can't believe I'm doing this. Uh, I, I agree with that, Suki. I would never in my life do something like that. Imagine it, Yuri shakes her head in fear. Guys. No, Sayori, I understand where they're coming from. I'll get the taser out. <laughs> I'll get the cattle prod. <laughs> yeah, remember that Natsuki and Yuri have never shared their poems with anyone until just a couple days ago. It's a lot to ask of them to recite their poems out loud to a whole, to, to a whole room full of people. I guess I kind of overlooked that, so I'm sorry. Huh. But, I still think we should give it our best. We are the only ones responsible for the fate of this club. If we start the event and, each, and we each put on a good performance, then we'll inspire others to do the same. And the more people who perform, the better we'll be able to show everyone what literature is all about. Yeah, it's about expressing your feelings, being intimate with yourself, finding new horizons, and having fun. That's right. And so those, for those reasons, we're all in this club today. Don't you want to share that with others? To inspire them to find the same feelings that brought you here in the first place? I know you do. I know we all do. <laughs> and if that's what it takes, standing here in front of a room for two minutes to recite a poem, then I know you can do it. <laughs> it turned to Braveheart. <laughs> Just turn that, like, make her face, make her look like Braveheart. <laughs> Have you seen the Walmart speech about the manager who's standing I mean, on top uh, of like a I actually think register? That was, that was Target. Oh, was that Target? It was Target. Yeah, it was Target, where he's like yeah. standing on top of the one of the cashiers, and he's like, it's it like a, right before Black Friday, and he's like, I know it's going to be difficult, but if we all stand together and fight hard. <laughs> yeah, it's so fucking funny. It's, it's pretty funny. Natsuki uh, and Yuri remain silent. Siri looks worried. I guess that leaves me no choice. I'm out of here. No, I agree. <laughs> Fuck this. I don't think it's too much to ask. I think that Siori and Monica have been trying really hard to get new members. The least we could do is help them out a little bit. Oh, uh, maybe, but... It looks like that Suki doesn't have any arguments left. Uh, okay, fine. I guess I'll just have to get over with. Alright. Phew. Thanks, that Suki. What about you, Yuri? Mmm... Yuri dejectively glances around at everyone else's expectant faces. Just kind of look at everyone. <laughs> she actually, yeah, the way she is angled, she's looking at everybody. <sighs> I, I guess I don't really have a choice. Uh -huh. That's everyone. You're the best, Yuri. This club is seriously going to be the death of me. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> You'll be fine, Yuri. But anyway, let's move on to the main event. I want each of you to choose a poem of yours, and we're going to practice reading it in front of each other. No way. Monica, this is too sudden. 
Well, if you can't recite your poem in front of the club, how do you expect to do it in front of strangers? Oh no. Don't worry. I'll start off to help everyone feel a little more comfortable. Can I go next? <laughs> no. Of course. <laughs> now let's see. Mako flips her notebook to a specific poem she has she has had in mind in front of herself. Uh, the, she then stands at the podium. The title of the poem is The Way We Fly. <clears throat> Maka begins reciting her poem. Her clear, confident voice fills the room. More than that, her influence, her inflection is pristine. Mm. She knows exactly how to apply emotion behind each line she recites, bringing the words to life. Is this something that she's done before, or is she simply a natural? I glance around me. Everyone has their own. Everyone has their eyes on Monica. Sierra looks amazed. Yuri has an intense expression on her face that I don't understand. Finally, Monica finishes her recitation. The four of us applaud. Monica takes a breath and smiles. That was so good, Monica. <laughs> Thank you very much. I was just hoping to set a good example. Are you ready to go next, Yuri? Uh, I'll go next. Uh, Yuri fired up all of a sudden. Yuri clutches a sheet of paper between her hands and stands up. Oh boy. <laughs> keeping her hand, keeping her head down, she. Walk. <laughs> she walks quite quickly over to the podium. This poem is called. Uh, Yuri anxiously glances at each of us. You can do it, Yuri. It's, it's called "After Image of a Crimson Eye." Yuri's voice shakes as she starts reading the poem. Just a moment ago, she practically refused to do this. Why is she suddenly putting in so much effort? As Yuri gets past the first couple of lines, her voice changes. It's almost like what happens when Yuri gets absorbed into her books. Her quivering words transform into the sharp syllables of a fierce and confident woman. The poem is full of twists and turns and structures <laughs> like she enunciates with perfect timing. She must, it must be a rare glimpse into the whirling fire Yuri keeps concealed inside of her head. Suddenly she's finished. Everyone's stunned. Yuri snaps back, snaps back to reality, glasses around her mom's spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> I... It's up to me to save the situation. I'm the first one to start applauding. Everyone else joins me afterwards we give Yuri the recognition he deserves. It's not that we didn't want to applaud for her. We were so caught off guard that we must have forgotten. As we applaud, Yuri holds her poem to her chest and rushes back to her seat. Yuri, that was really Shut good. Her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you for sharing. <laughs> <coughs> Looks like Yuri is down for the count. <laughs> I think she did push her to the ground. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I guess I'm next then. Yuri hops to her chair and cheerfully walks to the podium. This one's called My Meadows. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I giggled. <laughs> Say all right! <laughs> it's a lot harder than I thought. How'd you guys do it so easily? Ah, uh, try to think of it like you were saying to other people. Imagine you were saying it to yourself, like in front of a mirror in, or in your own head. It's your poem, so it'll come out the best. It can, it'll, it'll come out the best that way. I see. I see. Okay then. Sierra begins her poem. Seba feel her soft voice. Wait, her soft voice has made was made. I'm stuck the whole sentence over again. Somehow it feels like her soft voice was made as a perfect match. The poem isn't aimlessly cheery as like Sayori is. It's serene and bittersweet. As if I were able to read this on paper, I probably wouldn't think much of it. But here it comes from Sayori's voice. Almost gives me a whole new meaning. Maybe this is what Sayori meant when she said she likes my poems. It's like I reach more deeply into someone that I thought I knew through and through. Sari finishes and we applaud. I did it. Good, good, good job, bro. Yeah, I did it. <laughs> even Javid liked it. I guess that's a good sign. What does that even mean? It came out nicely, Sari. The atmosphere of the poem suits you, fits you quite really nicely. But it might be the other poet. Wait. But it might be that other poems wouldn't work quite as well with that kind of delivery. Eh? I don't really understand. Of course you don't, you fucking pleb! <laughs> In other words, I see poems of yours where that sort of gentle delivery wouldn't work as well. <laughs> they might need a little more force behind them, depending on what you're reading. Oh, I know what you mean. That's... well, I've been practicing that kind of thing. It's just embarrassing to do it in front of everyone. <laughs> the next time, I'm gonna make you pick a poem that challenges you a little bit more. Uh, we don't have much time for the festival, you know. Okay. Now who's next? 
the only one left in this classroom. Wait, but Java didn't read one. Oh, yeah, I didn't. He's on that list. Oh, yeah, that's okay. Hmm. Don't make me go before Java. I can't compare to you guys anyway. Might as well just let Java lower everyone's standards a little <laughs> before I have to do it. Because I'm secretly stupid. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. I might as well just get it over with. It's not like I have much of a selection of what to read. I'll just have to go with what I wrote for today. I stand up and step in front of the podium. Everyone has their eyes on me, making me feel incredibly awkward. I recite my poem. <laughs> just try to imagine them, try to imagine everyone in their underwear. Oh no, I just made everything worse! <laughs> oh god! Oh god, they're all hot! <laughs> oh god, they're all hot! No, but we're not now! <laughs> <laughs> we are not ready for takeoff. <laughs> it's like the, the, split, the squid word. It's okay, just imagine him in his underwear. Oh no, he's hot! Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm not exactly copying my own writing. It's hard to put energy into it. Despite that, once I finish, I receive applause anyway. Sorry, I'm not really as good as everyone else. Don't worry about it so much. No one fucking gives a shit about you. <laughs> it's, I think it's less about your abilities and more about your lack of confidence in your writing. That's something that you improve over time, though. Yeah, maybe. Alright then, that just leaves you, Natsuki. Yeah, yeah, I'm going. Natsuki begrudgingly gets out of her seat and makes her way to the podium. This poem is called... called... Why are you looking at me? Because, because you're presenting. Hmm. Anyway, this poem's called Jump. Might as well jump! Jump! Man, I didn't know you wrote this famous Van Halen song, Jump. <laughs> <laughs> Natsuki takes a breath. Once she starts reciting the poem, her sour attitude disappears a little. While she's a little unenthused, her poem has a rhythm and a rhyme to it. Rhythm and a rhyme. Uh, it's Natsuki's trademark style, and works surprisingly well when spoken aloud. The words feel like they're, they bounce up and down, as if given life to the poem. Natsuki finishes and everyone applauds. She huffs back to her seat. That wasn't so bad, was it? Easy for you to say. You better not make me do that again. Uh, well, do you feel prepared enough to uh, recite a poem in front of other people? I mean, doing it in front of the other people would be way easier. I can put whatever face I want for the people, but when it's just my friends, it's just embarrassing. That's a surprise, Natsuki. I think it'd be the other way around for me. Well, that's just how it is, so... Well, I guess in that case, we won't have much to worry about for the festival. That's it, I want to thank everyone for coming through. It might be hard, but I hope, we'll ha I hope you have you have an idea of what it's like now. Make sure you pick a poem and get enough practice before the festival, okay? I'll be making pamphlets, so let me know ahead of time which one you'll be reciting. Jeez, I should probably find some other poem to recite instead. That's fine too. Um, it doesn't have to be your own. I'm already pleasantly surprised that you're putting all this effort into the club. It makes me really happy. And she sticks her ass out. Uh, yeah, no problem. I thought the music stopped. Okay, everyone. Thanks. That's about it for today. I know the festival's coming up, but let's try to write poems for tomorrow as well. It's been, I've been working out really nicely so far, so I'd like to continue that. As for the festival, we'll finish planning tomorrow, and then we'll have the weekend to prepare. Monday's the big day. I can't wait. I can do this. I can do this. All right. I stand up. There's no way I'll be able to find the same enthusiasm as Sayori and Monica, but I'll do my best to get through it. It's for the sake of the club, and impressing Monica. And then I'll have to do my best. Ready, ready, ready to go, Sayori? Yep. Look, it's oh. always going home to get it like that. It's kind of adorable, isn't it? <laughs> Jeez, guys! Don't make it like a big deal or something like that. It must be a little nice, though. Well, <laughs> how am I supposed to respond to that? It's okay, Javid. You don't have to say it. Whatever, just go already. Just <laughs> fucking get out of here. I want to see once more. Even though it's only been a few days, a lot of things have already changed. But today, Sayori is being a little quieter than usual on the way home. Hey, Sayori. Hmm? Sorry, I was spacing out. Ah, no wonder. Um, I was thinking about something from earlier. I like how we get to... I mean... Sayori fumbled with their words. Let's just say that one day, Yuri asked to walk home with you. Huh? What would you do? What kind of question is that? 
You're kind of putting me on the spot here. <laughs> oh. Are you ready to kick some nuts? Uh oh. Might want to. We've. We've. Make we've, a. Hmm. Might, might you want to make a save here? Yeah, let's, let's save us a save. I don't know what my saving system is here. <laughs> I'm just randomly saving shit. I have no idea. It looks, it, it, it's a nice well, at, least, at, at least you got nine more pages of it. Yeah, I do have nine pages of saves. Uh, okay, so... We've actually impressed Sayori twice. Mm -hmm. Because we asked Sayori for help and our last poem was for Sayori. Nearly. We've only actually impressed Yuri once. So, what so maybe we can go down the Sayori path. This might actually give a huge chunk towards, towards Yuri, though. I could. I feel like at this point, we've done more to Sayori than anyone, so we, let's go for Sayori. I'm gonna say we walk, I'm still walking with Sayori. We're, seriously, we're going, we're, going, we're going with Basic Bitch? She's, she's kinda cute, I kinda like her. Okay, fine. Uh, after fucking cookie attacks, that was pretty, that was pretty dope. You, was, know, you, you know Yuri's gonna end up killing herself, right? That's, I don't know, I'll just, I'll walk with Sayori! That's, I, I feel like, <laughs> I, I feel a bad premonition coming. Sayori, you really think I'd ditch you for, I would ditch you for Yuri? Eh? But she's so beautiful and smart. Jeez! Fucking. <laughs> says jeez a lot. I already see her in the club every day. Besides, you always seem like you. You seem really like going home together. I wouldn't just ruin that for you. You're so silly, Javid. You think about me too much sometimes. You would deserve it if she wanted it, so. Say, Ori, I've already made up my mind. I really can't figure out sometimes. Sorry. Besides, what's the point of speculating something that's never going to fucking happen? Hmm. Conversation trails off. It's kind of a weird thing for Sarah to care about so much. But I want to respect her and keep her happy too. Then again, the festival's only a few days away. Who knows what will happen at that time? <laughs> Alright, let's write some more dank poems. Um, hmm. Raindrops. Let's start, start with uh, Raindrops. Kawaii. Uh, the raindrops are kawaii. That and that wear socks. With socks. Oh god, it's all in the city. Oh. Uh, but it's uh, very uh, but it's very secretive. Secretive. Oh. Uh, uh, party. Party dance. In the Joy. chocolate. Chocolate. Chocolate mm, milk. Oh no. Uh, doki doki. Oh. oh. Uh, uh, mouse. 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 Ah! Oh god. Uh. Uh. uh, 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 uh nature. There you go. Okay. Uh, uh fleet? No. no uh, wait, 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 wait. You gotta use, like, emotions and stuff for, uh, bliss? Sayori. Yeah, bliss. Yeah. Uh, uh whistle. whistle. Ah! No. Hope? Hope. 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 Hope or grief, maybe. Okay, hope. Uh, uh fear? Or love. Love, yeah. maybe. Yeah, um, sticky. Damn it, she's sticky. <laughs> she's sticky. <laughs> Damn it, she's sticky. Childhood? Uh, ch childhood? Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, definitely. Daydream? daydream. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He's definitely a daydreamer. Uh, and suicide. <laughs> oh, that was Yuri. Uh-oh. Let's see. <laughs> I think what you said might have been a little too accurate. Like I said, I have a bad premonition about it. Aw, <laughs> oh, man. I'm the last one here again. Don't worry, I just walked in too. I'm here, I'm here. <laughs> Were you pressing the piano again? <laughs> no, it's fucking, uh, no, it's fucking blazing. <laughs> I was pressing the ball again. <laughs> there we go. We're both going the same way. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> anyone got some fucking Cheetos or something? I got, I got like serious munchies right now. You must have a lot of determination. Playing Undertale. Dumbledore. A lot of under uh, determination. <laughs> Standing in the club and now picking up a piano. You're really strong to pick up a piano. <laughs> well, m well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. Remember that, remember that, that the club wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. And I'm super happy that you're all willing to help out with the festival too. Ah, uh, I can't wait for the festival. It's gonna be great. Eh? Weren't you complaining about it yesterday, yesterday, Natsuki? Well, yeah. I'm not talking about our part of the festival, but it's a whole day of school where we get to play and eat all kinds of delicious food. You sound a bit like Sayori all of a sudden. Okay. Do they usually have red squid? Squid? Uh, it's a pretty specific thing to look forward to. Oh come on. Are you saying you don't like squid? You of all people. What does that mean? <laughs> what is Monica a squid? <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> you of all people. Eh? I didn't say I didn't like it. Monica hides her tentacles underneath her skirt. Ooh. Besides, what do you mean by you of all people? Because it's right in your name. Mon Ika. Oh, is Ika squid? I think in so. In Japanese? Might be. 
N? Eh, that's not how you say my name at all. Also, that joke makes no sense in translation. Ha, <laughs> Ha, <laughs> 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 uh, never mind. Fucking, the fucking weebs playing this game will probably get it. <laughs> Let's just focus on our own event for now, okay? <laughs> fine, fine. So it is pronounced Monica. Because that that's not a very Japanese sounding name. And Monika sounds like how it would be if it was a Japanese name. Kinda, yeah. So it is Monica. Okay. Alright. The reactions aren't as fun as yours or CR anyway. Excuse me? Where is AR anyway? Oh, there you are. Sierra's lying on the floor. <laughs> Uh, looking just, down. just drunk passed out. Sayori. Bottles of jack up everywhere. <laughs> Sayori is sitting... Sayori is sitting at a desk in the corner of the room, looking down at nothing. That's happy. Oh god, she's depressed. I wa But we said the nice thing to her! We said a nice thing to her! We said a nice thing to her. We said a nice! Don't be mean, I said a nice. Now, buy our don't be mean, I said a nice shirt at the Element 12 store. Link in the description. No. <laughs> That's not a shirt. Yet. Yet! I might make it. No, I'm not. I still got the other shirts. <laughs> I walk over to her. Say, Sayori. I wave my hand in front of her face. Eh? You're spacing out again. Uh, ah, yes, yeah, sorry. Don't mind me. You can go talk to everyone else. Huh. Is everything all right? Oh, of course. Why would it be? It just feels like you're a little off. Sorry for ass-ooming things. Jeez, you worry too much about me. I'm fine, see? Sayori shows me a big smile. <laughs> Don't let me distract you from having fun with everyone. Well, alright. Yeah, if you say so. I worriedly glance at Sayori before turning back towards everybody else. But the conversation is already dispersed with everyone back to their usual activities. Maybe I should ask Monica if she's noticed anything about Sayori recently. Since she's been friends festival, they must spend a lot of time together. I timidly approach Monica, who is shuffling through some paper at her desk. Javid, what's up? Hey, this might sound a little strange, but have you done anything up with Sayori recently? Anything up with her? In what way do you mean? Maybe I'm reading a little too much into it, but she seems a little downcast today. Oh, you think so? I can't say I've noticed anything about her. Monica appears across the room at Sayori, who is idly dragging a rubber eraser up and down her desk. <laughs> I'm trying to erase- <laughs> <laughs> their tongue sticking out. That's a car. That's what a car sounds like. <laughs> Boop. Beep beep. Anyway, <laughs> maybe there's something inside her mind. Oh, never mind. The re deep recesses of my mind are an enigma. <laughs> the milk. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm surprised that you're not. You're not the. Wait. I'm surprised I'm not the one asking you, Javin. You certainly know a lot about her than I do. Yeah, but she's never really, never really liked this. She's always talked to me about things that bothered her. And this time I asked her, she seemed really dismissive. Sorry, I know it's not your problem. I just wanted to see if you knew anything. I'll drop it now. No, no, no. It's important to me too. I mean, I'm also friends with her. And I also care about the well-being of my club members, you know? Maybe I'll try talking to her myself. Eh, are you sure about that? If she didn't want to be left alone. Are you sure? Maybe she's had a hard time bringing up with a person of interest. Person of interest? I like that show! It's a good show. <laughs> Jim Caviezel. What do you mean by that? I'm saying that maybe the thing on her mind is you, Javin. Oh. My. <laughs> Me? And How on earth would you come to that conclusion? Well... I probably shouldn't say too much, but... She's been I, I, looking at your ass all day. <laughs> Sayori talks about you more than anything else you know. Eh? She's been so much happier since you joined the club. It's like an extra light is turned on inside of her. <sighs> what? No way. Sayori is always like that. She's always been full of sunshine and rainbows and lollipops. And all that other jazz and crap. <laughs> and not like she's any different than she's always been. Hey, hey, hey. You're so funny, Javin. Have you thought maybe you've always seen her so cheerful? Because that's just how she is when she's around you? Uh, ah, I said too much. Oh, God. I'm sorry, what do I know anyway? I didn't mean to jump to conclusions, so you just forget about what I said. I'll try to talk to her, so try not to think about her for now. Okay, so that's two suicidal girls. Uh, alright. Monica smiles meaningfully. 
I know she said to forget about it, but I already know I won't be able to get those wor her words out of my head. Monica stands up from her desk and walks across the room where Sayori is sitting. I watch her kneel down next to Sayori and gently talk to her. And she's keeping her voice so quiet that I can't fucking eavesdrop on them! <laughs> I sigh and I sit down to myself. I know Sayori told me not to worry about her and have fun with everyone else, but it's impossible to do that when she's being like this. Especially how much I care about her. Like I'm letting this weight, weight, weight me down so much. Now it feels like I'm the only one baby out of the ordinary. But there's not much I can do besides wait for Monica. Why does it feel like I'm being watched? I glance around the room. Suddenly I notice Yuri peering at me over her book. But she looks away as quickly flustered look on looks away as quickly with a flustered look on her face. I realize I won't, she won't get anywhere like this. I've never really seen Yuri approach anyone to start a conversation of her own accord. <laughs> so I have no choice but to approach her myself. But now it's a little easier for me to do that. I sit down from my desk. And sit at the one next to her own. And we're gonna talk to her next time. Next we, time. we played a little while, we're gonna we're gonna take a break for now. We're gonna definitely play some more. I'm curious to still see where this game's going. So we're definitely gonna play some more of this as soon this as game, possible. This game is too like light and hearty. It's to... happy and cheery, but something's gonna happen. It's something something effed up is gonna happen for sure. But it's like taking a while to happen. That's the, it's the build up. That's the build up. It's the build up. It's a suspense. Until next time, Elba 12 and other guy. I am the other guy. Signing off. We'll see you later. Bye. Peace out.